Since I started working in oncology about three decades ago, the progress that we've made has been tremendous on every single front. Hearing the word cancer makes you stop in your tracks for sure. But I was surprised and scared and shocked and all of those things. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, how am I going to get through this? What am I going to do to get through this? My diagnosis is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's one of the fastest growing leukemia. It could take your life in pretty much three to four months. You just sort of enter an entirely new world pediatric cancer and we went from everything is really really normal to everything is just just crazy crazy right we had no idea what was going on I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at age five I was treated for three and a half years and when I was 11 I was officially declared cancer free at that point there was no turning back I like to think that cancer made me the person that I am today, and I often reflect on that. We really don't pay attention to matters, whether it's political or whether it's from a health perspective, until it hits us, until it really hits our family and, and until it hits us personally. We have to think outside the box. If we want to make true advances in cancer, let's fund basic research, because that's where everything emanates, the knowledge, the ideas, the understanding. Without the clinical trial, none of the drugs and treatments that have ever come to market to treat cancer or any other disease would have ever occurred. You need to do something to help advance research. And by being in a clinical trial, you, help, you could help oodles of people in the future. And if we don't, they're not going to learn. We were maybe the first family to walk through that threshold into this new treatment, but that door's open now. And to just not give up hope, but to do keep researching and asking questions yourself to find the researchers and find the drugs that are gonna support what your child needs. Absolutely. The transmission of the information that we obtain from very basic research to patients is incredibly short. Some of the discoveries that we make within months are already benefiting patients. I started that on the clinical trial and then four months later it was approved by the FDA and I'm still taking it today. I've had really excellent response to it. As soon as I started treatments, my tumors, they didn't go away, but they just sit there. Nobody expected me to even still be alive today, much less still doing well. We are spending 20% of our gross national product in healthcare. To spend a little bit of this amount of money in research would not only improve the quality of the lives of our population, but most importantly, would result in therapies and better treatments that at the end of the day would be more efficient. I think hope comes in many forms. Hope comes in knowing that there are clinicians and researchers out there that are working on my behalf. That gives me hope. If I had been diagnosed 10 years ago, I probably wouldn't be here. The outcome, it saved my life. It's more hope for a person fighting for their life. Without that treatment, she would never have made it. Quality of my life is extraordinary. I don't think that if you saw me walking down the street, you would ever imagine that I was a stage four cancer patient. Real hope is finding a cure for cancer and by supporting research and supporting the great scientists out there that are working on that is our hope. I am so thankful that I was in the right place at the right time when I was diagnosed with cancer. My wife was able to extend her battle for several years because of the clinical trials that she was able to get into. We need to do whatever it takes for the people that are battling cancer today, but it's the researchers that are gonna make the difference for you, your spouse, your children. So it's important that we fund, 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 because it's those researchers that are really gonna make a difference. The doctors, the nurses, the assistants, the scientists, the PhDs, they are the geniuses that will eventually find cures. Over the last eight years, the NIH funding in real dollars has decreased by 
100%. This is hard to imagine, hard to explain, hard to understand, and we should be having more research funds at this time, not less. We can bail out the banks, we can bail out the auto industry, we certainly can have uh, the adequate funding for research to cure these diseases. Public funding makes sense. The research makes sense. It saves lives. It saves money. It helps people be more productive throughout their entire life. Do we have the tools and the minds at our disposal to come up with treatments to get ahead of the game? I mean, come on, if this was your spouse, if this was your children, wouldn't you want the best for them? Let's raise money and continue to make progress and ultimately win the war.